can what you can then quickly do is um, you can you can do a bunch of things like like I said I if you want to program in this instance for example you want to do your, your homework one right not a good idea to program in root not a good practice not that you cannot you can but it's in general not a good practice right so create a user right and I'm just going to create a user and call it ly and I'm going to give it a default password make sure you remember it right I don't care about the rest um, and then I can then become that user by typing by using su so s-u-l-y okay uh, now I'm in the root directory but I want to go to my own directory which is which is this okay and then here I can actually then uh, actually I need a couple of things actually I'm not going to come here first because the problem is that um, I didn't I didn't I didn't install Python so you have to go install Python all right and I think I'm running out of time but let me still try to get at some of this okay that's why install Python 3 Let's see what else do I need Uh, you also need to install an an uh, an editor. I don't think I need pip actually, but I do need an editor. Um, I'm I'm a VI person, so I install Vim. If you're Emacs or you're Joe, you're uh, choose choose a favorite editor. Okay, I'm I don't restrict what you use, right? Just I'm a VI person, so I I do VI install VI, and. I don't really need SQLite 3 right now, just, just for this particular demo. Okay, so now then I, I go SU, LY, CD, uh, we'll do test 0. Okay, CD test 0. Alright, then um, here I have a very simple um, socket program, oops, which um, I would like you guys to run because um, I might not be able to run everything right now. We'll see how much time we get. And I believe this is the server.py. Alright. And this is the client. Okay, and typically you would you would do this on one machine and you would test it on one machine first. When it's working on one machine, then you would test it on two two machines. All right, but so I would typically I would run my server and I run it in the background by by using an ampersand. All right, so the server is running, it's listening for connections, um, and then I would run my client program. All right. And my client program is going to connect to the server. <coughs> it's going to it's going to send a message, say hello from client program, and it's, and, and, and it's going to receive a message back from the server. All right. So um, <coughs> so in my program, I have I have printf statements that that say that this say that I this this is my server program. It's printing this. My client program is printing this. So server is, is receive a connection. Right, see, I'm using the, the local host interface. All right, so in, in the program, I hard coded this, of course. Um, and so this is a this is the server IP. This uh, and there's a server port. This is the ephemeral port. The client sends a hello. The server receives a hello from client, and the server sends hello <coughs> from server. The client receives hello from server, and then it exits. Okay, so this is your minimal client server program for you to play with all right and get started with your home homeworks and um, try out some of these next steps that I have here this will help you okay okay guys that's it for today